In today's video, I'm gonna pick four handbags for the four seasons in the year, and I'm also gonna do a quick update on each and every bag that I'm gonna feature. Hello, my name is Amy, and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. By the way, today's video is a tag video. I was tagged by two lovely ladies, LV Coffee Lover. I'll be linking their videos down below because we're in the middle of fall right now. And I feel like the best bag in my collection that sort of reminds me of fall or that represents fall the best is the Gabrielle, but especially in this beautiful burgundy color. So I do have two bags right now in my collection that are in color burgundy, but I especially feel like the Gabrielle is a great fall bag. Not only is it more of an edgier and more rugged looking bag, it's so fun to style with all the different color hardware. It's not like your typical classic Chanel bag. Love this bag and still highly recommend it. It's just super chic and the size small is still the perfect size for me Of course, I do recommend the size up which is the new medium if you want something a little bit roomier The size small is probably the one where you would avoid wear and tear the most easily because it's a smaller bag to begin with and it will have less chances of sagging because of less of this distress area. I constantly get asked whether you should still get it. Is it classic? Obviously, these are never going to replace your typical classic flaps because those, of course, you can never go wrong. But just because it's a classic doesn't mean that it's better. It really just depends on what suits you. So um, I only have one classic flap in my collection. In fact, it's not even a classic flap. It's the jumbo single flap. So it's kind of still seasonal, but the shape of it is classic. And yet I wear it very seldomly. Perhaps because the size is still quite large, being the jumbo, and perhaps also because the classic style is just too serious on a daily basis. I feel like it's just more fun to style, I feel like they're more interesting as a bag as well, and um, also the classic flops are so expensive now. I have nothing against them, I would love to have, you know, a couple of classic flops in my collection, but every time I'm debating between the classic flap and a new release or uh, a new season. Uh, there's just always something else that I would rather get first. You're really not getting the Gabrielle for timelessness, for uh, resale value. You're really getting it because you love the bag. So for fall, the Gabrielle Chanel in the small size in burgundy color. And by the way, mine is actually from last year. Uh, this season, the 20k season, they also have a burgundy that's very very similar. So definitely check it out if you love this color. The season that I dread the most is winter because it's way too cold in North America. I know I, you know, in Vancouver it's already so mild, but I used to live in Montreal. I lived there for two thirds of my life, so I know how harsh of a winter can get and still I still find it too cold right now. Anyway, I'm just I'm just a summer baby. I love 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 summer. Summer is my favorite season. But, you know, we do have four seasons here in Canada, like four real seasons. And in the winter, I picked the Chanel 19. Not only because of the vibe, which is the puffer bag vibe, but also because this material. So I do have it in the lambskin, in the shiny lambskin, but um Often it's also in the goat skin. So whether you have it goat skin or lamb skin, I feel like both material is more hard wearing than you think, especially even the lamb skin. It's so beautiful, so hard wearing. I love the trend of being a puffer bag. Be kind of like a blogger for a minute and carry it like this on your armpit. I love this top handle. I feel like in the winter with a larger coat, your bulk, you have bulkier clothing. It's amazing to have a top handle, but also a shoulder strap that's sturdy looking. It has more of a rugged look. So I feel like it it does really go with the season. And since you're likely to be wearing a larger, thicker coat, this big chunky chain just really goes with the vibe. So I just feel like it's the perfect bag for winter. I, of course, would still wear this bag all year round, but 
Um, as a winter bag, it's really very representative. And plus, this bag did come out in the fall winter collection of 2019. It's also Karl Lagerfeld's last last design before he passed away. Um, of course, it was designed in collaboration with Virginie, but it's still his part of his last designs. Again, it's not going to ever replace your classic flap needs. If you're set on a classic flap, do not deviate from it. Get your classic flap first. But sometimes it's not about being classic. With this bag, not only does it fit more because it's slouchy, so I just removed the organizer as you can see. It's slouchy. It fits more because it's more malleable. It has more squish. It's more comfortable. It's not rigid. It does have this very generous large uh, back pocket, which I didn't realize I have something inside. Oh, my parking pass <laughs> and some alcohol wipes. Just a stunning, super practical bag. This bag will really surprise you how practical it is. Is there a bit of weight to it? Yes, mostly because of the chain, because if you remove this chunky chain, this bag is actually not that heavy because it's just, well, mine is lambskin, but I maybe the goat skin will be slightly heavier, but honestly, the bag itself is not really that heavy. And the fact that you can hand carry it really does help with the weight. Anytime there's a handle, like a top handle, uh, it makes things just a lot more bearable for some reason uh, in the weight department anyway. So I'm a big fan of this bag. I love carrying it by the top handle. I still, of course, do highly recommend it. I love the size small. And uh, I also like the size medium. I just prefer smaller bags, so I always mostly usually go with the smallest size anyway. Another question or concern that comes up very frequently is how this bag sags. Now, it is part of the design, so if you don't like that, then it's not for you. But if you love it and you still want to sort of preventing from over sagging over time, it is a great idea to get an organizer. So I have right here the Samorga version um, and it's custom to its exact measurements. Sometimes I do like to use it without the organizer just because I really love the saggy and slouchy look. Like when you just, uh, when you just hold it like a pillow, it's so, so cute and comfortable. It's really just for the look. It's nothing practical about <laughs> holding your bags like this. It's really just for the look and for styling. So sometimes I do like using the bag without the organizer, but when I store it, it's always in there. So if you were to ask me, I still 100% recommend this bag. I still 100% love it. Uh, will it ever replace the classic flap? No, never. I, I just, I don't believe in that. They're totally different styles. This is a s totally casual, more casual style, but this bag is so practical, which is why I, it doesn't really matter if it's seasonal or not, or, you know, whether it keeps its value or not, it's all irrelevant. You love it, you get it. That's my motto. So for the winter, the Chanel 19 in the small size in black lambskin. There are so many bags in my collection that I feel like would be very appropriate or representative of spring. But I ended up choosing the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette Accessoire. I just feel like the vibe is there. There's something new and fresh and just like a new start because spring is when everything is sprouting again. Uh, there's just something about this bag that just feels new and very fresh and just um, different. So I picked this bag and also the fact that in the spring, it's still, you know, depending if it's early spring or late spring, it still can be quite cold. And uh, in Vancouver, for example, it still can rain quite often. Therefore, I feel like a canvas bag that has minimal vachetta will be really ideal for the kind of weather that we have here in spring. Outside of the styling point of view, I just feel like this bag has been not only super surprising, but it I've already gotten my money's worth in a way because I pretty much wear this all the time. 2020 for me has been about, you know, wipeable canvas, comfortable straps that I don't need to uh, constantly, you know, remove of my body. Like I just leave it on my body, crossbody, and that's it when I'm out and about. 
Uh, it's also about uh, bags that you can easily get in and out, but that you can also downsize. All in all, this bag has been so, so good, so super surprising. Uh, there are cons, but the pros really outweigh the cons. Really the only con that I've uh, kind of more recently discovered is that the front pouch, if you want to use it together, is not going to be as easily accessible because when your back pouch is quite full, which you would normally put more things in the back pouch because it has more space, then it really bulges, uh, like it really is, it becomes more bulky. Therefore, when you try to open your front pouch, it's a lot harder. The zipper of the front pouch will tend to kind of curve like this. Uh, do you see what I mean? So the fact that it's curved and it's, you know, you kind of have to really hold the bag. So what I end up doing is I pretty much just remove the front pouch. Uh, and keep the rest as is. Sometimes I don't even use this coin purse because, um, yeah, on, on a daily basis, you really don't need it. Haven't really found uh, a specific need for this. I know a lot of people say AirPods, but honestly speaking, I put my AirPods in at home and I step out. I don't touch my face. I don't touch my AirPods. I don't touch anything as much as possible. So I don't even want to have to reach into this to get to my AirPods and put it in my ears. You know what I mean? If anything, I might just store my uh, emergency stuff in here, like emergency alcohol wipes, emergency hair ties, you know, like I, I'm, if anything, I might use it for that and keep it as is with the really comfortable strap, with uh, the decorative chain. I love leaving the chain on it. It does become noisy sometimes but then it's not a big deal so i highly recommend it still i know a lot of you got it a lot of you saw my uh, review video and found it super helpful so i'm glad that it was helpful and i still highly recommend it a hundred percent all right let's end it with summer my favorite season of all times and the bag that i have to choose for this occasion is my favorite, favorite Coco handle of all times. I own three Coco handles, by the way, and this one is my favorite one. Um, I'm gonna start forgetting all the, the, the date codes. This is part of the spring summer, 2019, I believe. Obviously the color has a lot to do with it, but just because of my three Coco handles, I just feel like this one is the most stunning. I know the blue one a lot of you are a big fan of, but for me, when I carry a Coco handle, it's usually in the summer, uh, and it has a lot to do with the straps, and I'll explain that in a moment. But um, this color just goes with all the summer dresses that I love to wear because it's the hottest season of the year. Your body tends to be sticky. You might be wearing some sunscreen on your body. So I don't really want my bag to be rubbing against me. You know, like I don't really want to carry it by the strap anyway. So I love a good handle for the summer actually. So I actually end up using this bag just like this, handheld or sometimes on the crook of my arm. I have pretty dry skin. So even in the summer, my hands don't get too moist. So I don't really have any problems with staining my bag because that was one of the concerns and something that was asked uh, of me whether I have any color transfer or anything like that. I think I'm pretty lucky in a way that I just, um, you know, like where I live and also my skin and also just like humidity level is always kind of, you know, it goes up and down, but it's not it's not very drastic and it, in the summers here it doesn't get too humid so i i really don't have any problems with color transfers especially because i do hand hold this bag a lot uh, being that it is a light color bag and i just prefer it anyway however when i do need to be hands-free i do use this shoulder strap and the reason why i prefer wearing a coco handle in the summer is because this shoulder brake leather piece here does slide off your shoulders uh, when you're wearing a very slippery material. With this cardigan, which is from Balmain, I love this cardigan, by the way, it's not gonna be a problem because it does have these big shoulder pads to prevent it from falling. But usually if I'm just wearing a t-shirt, uh, but especially like a bulkier wool coat that kind of just like drops, you know, the, the shoulder drops, um, they fall off the shoulder so easily. But in the summer, you're a little bit more sweaty and your skin has a little bit more grip with the friction, uh, then it 
it doesn't actually fall off your shoulders. So I uh, really, really enjoy wearing my cocoa handles in the summer and this bag fits everything I need. This is the small size. Now there is the mini size, which wow it is so small by the way if you ask me i wouldn't get the mini size because it doesn't fit my max phone and i always buy the max phone um so yeah uh, you won't have any problems with that with the small size uh the small is perfect for everyday wear it fits a bit extra if you were to compare these two bags which are very very comparable in size it's just that it's a bit easier to get in and out of this one because it's just one zipper and one big hole versus two compartments in the cocoa handle um you know, the, the front compartment is still relatively easy to reach in and out of, but the, the back one is a little bit trickier and also um, it, it's just a little harder, but not really that hard. It's really not that bad, honestly. So big, big fan of the Coco Handle. Definitely represents the summer for me in this beautiful light gray color and this nice caviar and also the shiny gold hardware. It's, it's just stunning. I definitely understand why the Coco Handle has become so popular and um, if you want to get your hands on one, I definitely recommend a stunning color in a Coco Handle. I do own it in black as well and in blue, but the colored ones for the Coco Handle style are those stunning ones. So not that I don't love my black one, but I, I really do think that if you, if you buy a Coco Handle, like go for a color because they just are stunning. If you have a YouTube channel, I tag you. Definitely do this, it's super fun. Just pick four of your handbags for the four seasons and let me know why you picked them for that season. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. What did you think of my choices? Thank you all so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back. So please don't forget to subscribe. You might wanna watch these two videos beside you and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.